Welcome to a new video. I'm in Volendam in the Netherlands here. And I've dropped by at the Volendam here to explore and to check out this area of the Netherlands. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of Volendam here as I walk amongst these wonderful houses who has a river or a canal in the backyard here. Now, I apologize because of the wind, but Volendam used to be a port for the northwest town of the people of Edam. And back in the 14th century, in 1357 to be exact, the people of the Edam, they started digging a canal or building a canal here. And they make Volendam as the port. Check out these beautiful houses here whereby people here have their front yard facing the, the sea here or the river. I think this is a sea. And at how amazing this is if I can find an Airbnb like this stay and there are a few tourists here as well so Poland Dam used to be a harbor for the northwest town of Edam here for the people in the Netherlands however in the 14th century, the people of Edam dug a shorter canal and so Volendam was no longer the port. Check out this amazing house here. We have the scenery and we have everything here. And I apologize if it's windy, but Yeah, amazing, amazing place here in Volendam. And not a lot of tourists do know of this place here. And during winter, especially in the cold like this, where it's windy and it's wet, there's not a lot of tourists here, which is a good thing. But these are the kind of buildings or houses that really fascinates me by this is probably built in the olden days you can see the, the bricks houses here especially that one but it looks really old and how amazing it is to have your front yard facing the, the ocean here or the or the river and yeah how amazing it is so why was Volen Dam no longer the harbor because the people of Edam back in the 14th century in 1357 to be exact they dug a shorter canal to the Zui DZ so this was no longer needed as a harbor because from Edam to Volendam is quite far away so the people of Edam they need to find out a better solution so they, they dug a shorter canal to the Zui DZ and so that became the harbor instead of Volendam. Now, so what is Volendam used for now after it was no longer the harbor? Well, this whole area here was then dammed off. It means it's been cut, it's been dammed. And then it is used for farmers, or farming and agriculture activities. So I'm now heading into the square here, whereby you can see souvenir shops and we have a sun view and sun terrace there, a place that you can stay. Look at the souvenir shops here as I take you along, fall in them, explore. We have different flags here, countries of different flags. Souvenir shops. We have 
the cotton clump pen here. So I just had my lunch here in this restaurant, the co restaurant. So let me show you around here the souvenir shops here before we continue on with our history. Cheese factory bought in them. But anyway, let me point the camera to the sides here as I tell you about the history. So, apologize for the wind. So, as this area was no longer used as the harbor, So as this place was no longer used as the harbour, soon farmers and fishermen started settling here. And they started building up this community here. So Paul and them started thriving and it's used as a fishing village. We have bistros here, cafes. There is the harbour and I'm not entirely sure if this is the exact harbour that people back in the 14th century used to use. Let's proceed forward here as we explore. The small town of Volan M here. Places there, and this is the harbor, world fa famous ferry. I'm gonna go down there and show you the price. You can take the ferry. And I apologize for the wind here, it's really windy here, but I really want to share with you guys the history of Volan Dam here because this is one of the history that fascinates me, and that's why I visited this place. Let's go here and check out. You can ride on this ferry here. They put the price. Rolling clip. So, world famous ferry arrives about every 30 to 45 minutes. One way ticket is about 9 euro, and a return ticket you can get a discount at about 30 to 50 euro for kids. Bicycle, you have to be extra, I guess. You can get the tickets down there. And this is where you go to take the, the ferry. Despite all these amazing, amazing buildings, wooden buildings and brick buildings that we have here in Volendam, Volendam do have a tragic history. And it is during the New Year celebration of 2000 to 2001, whereby a fire broke out. And just imagine, women and men were dancing in the streets here, celebrating. They were drinking, they were cheering, they were being happy, they were dancing. And no one expected that this tragedy would occur. So what happened was, one of the sparklers started a fire. It was a short fire, but it was a really intense fire. And about 14 people lost their lives. And about 200 more were seriously injured. So a night of celebration here in the new year turned out into a tragedy for families, for the grandmothers, for the grandparents, for the parents of the ones who lost their lives. We have more shops there, you can see. Yeah, 
then I saw a sign early on to be careful of pickpockets. So I'm walking around the harbor here. It's getting windier and chillier. To my right, there is a hotel overlooking the river. And volume them today to go to the harbor city, the longer part. And it's becoming more and more touristy and the economy are thriving here for the people of all of them. And I'm not sure what their basic economy is. But tourism is one of them. So anyway, I guess the wind is ruining this video for you, the audio. So with that, I'm gonna say goodbye here from Volendam. And it is a must place for you to go and see because it has a rich history here. So, signing off from Volendam. And this is my last day in the Netherlands before I proceed on to explore parts of Europe. See ya, that's Vidania. Goodbye. have a New York pizza here overlooking the river by the sea I'm not sure let me film a little bit more for you here before I sign off and the wind's quite strong here cafe prices of food here on average it's about 20 for a meal have the famous waffle here from the Netherlands Stroop waffle and bakery you can get real Dutch pancakes for two euros there's a lot of dining place here another menu 22 euros for a fish meal Overlooking the river again. And you can get like a fried fish here, street vendors selling. More place for you to go and eat. Signing off for good here from the Netherlands. I will miss this place. It's one of my favorite country, and that's why it is in one of my Europe <laughs> adventures. See ya. That's Vidania. Goodbye. <laughs>